nice to meet you if you're not new here welcome back and basically this is this is my yearly 2022 favorites all these favorites are either makeup or beauty so I'm just gonna say beauty in general because I don't know if nail polish is considered makeup or what your opinion on that is but there's that so first we're gonna start with eyeshadows for eyeshadows first we have the elf pumpkin pie quad for this I love this. It's a really shiny, neutral, very orange tone, very warm. I love it. Now for the exact opposite, for a very cool toned option, is the e.l.f. Rose Water Quad. As you can see, it has pans, so obviously I've been loving it quite a bit. And it's really beautiful. I personally like it. I know it's not everybody's taste, but I like having that option. It's something I, I, I genuinely enjoy. So there's that. Now another 2022 favorite is the Wet n Wild Call Me Sunshine Eyeshadow Palette. Here is what it looks like. It's actually my 2023 Pan That Palette for this year. Here's what it looks like. Moving on, another eyeshadow that I really enjoyed was the Essence Nothing Compares to Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Now I know there are opinions about this because some people really like it, others not so much because of the shimmers. I would say rather than the shimmers being very popping, very pop, metal-like, very shiny, that's not what that's not what you're gonna get with this. You're gonna get more of a satin-like shimmer, which is which I would say is a very everyday, like let's go to school or work kind of kind of a kind of a look. So it's very subdued which is what I'm trying to explain. It's a very subdued palette. So if you're looking for a high shine, this is not it. But if you are looking for something soft every day, that's something to just compliment you, perfect palette for that. Here it is. And, then, and as you can see, there were quite a few dips. So I did enjoy it. Now, real quick, we're gonna go through highlighters. Here are two Wet n Wild highlighters. The first one is Bloom Time which is a very orange peach kind of highlighter. Very shiny, as you can see I have pan on it. It's something I really enjoy during the, it's something I really enjoy during the warmer seasons. And then here we have the opposite, which I enjoy during the colder seasons, is this one. It's more of an icy white, very punchy, very in your face. It's called Blossom Glow, super pretty, I love it. Now, moving on. We have the e.l.f. not e.l.f. <laughs> the packaging says e.l.f. but this is the potted. The actual blush is it, actual blush is from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl's Cheekers Blush in Deep Plum. I hated the old packaging, which I still do have. Hold on. Hated this packaging. I don't know. I just for a blush for my brush to fit. I did not enjoy that. So I changed the packaging and I put it into this e.l.f. blush, well not e.l.f. blush, e.l.f. compact that I finished. So here it is, this is in Deep Plum. It's very pigmented, which I was not expecting, but I don't know if that's the formula or if it's because I, I pressed it loosely or what, whatever it is. But either way, I enjoy it, it's very nice. Now moving on to concealer, we have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I, w I wasn't really sure what I was expecting when I went into it, but it's nice. It's I have dry skin, and so far this has worked pretty well. I just use it on my under eyes because I have I have very dark under eyes, so I need something a little light there, so it's not as you know dark. <laughs> it's not it it helps. It looks nice. I enjoyed it. Is it the greatest thing out there? No. But man, is it a good concealer, especially for covering up my dark under eyes. Now, real quick, we're going to go to nail polishes. I have two of them. Uh, and the, then the rest will be lipsticks. There's quite a few there, so I just... I want to save the most for last. So first we have these LA Colors Nail Polish in 543. It is very glittery, and I adored it. I recently learned, so this is more of a recent 2022, so late 2022, that I really do enjoy like shimmery nail polish. Like I like the glimmer and the shine. So this is, I, I have it on right now. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. But I really enjoyed it. 
and it dries surprisingly fast. I don't I don't understand this witchcraft because it was like a dollar something, but I really like it. Now, for the other nail polish on the opposite end, a more expensive one, this is Essie. This is the Essie Nail Polish in Bikini Sotini. It is a very nice pastel blue, maybe more of a muted kind of a blue, and I really enjoy it. Blue is my favorite color, specifically, specifically a light blue, so this was made me so happy. <laughs> I wore it quite a bit and I do have it in my nail polish uh, project pan so I'm trying to use it up as much as possible so there's that. Now moving on to the last section which is lipsticks. First we had Milani lipstick in Pretty Natural. Here's what it looks like. I will swatch it for you. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful pink. Eh, I wouldn't, you know, kind of a bright pink I would say. Then we have the NYX Shout Out Loud Lipstick in Sweet Tooth. It is a very bright and vibrant uh, purpley pink. I love it. Like an, I guess you would call it a berry, probably, I'm not sure. But I love it. It's, it makes me feel so confident. <laughs> it's very bold and I love it, especially with a very soft eye. So it's very enjoyable, at least to me anyway. Now for the next lipstick, this is the Koki Lipstick in Candy Apple. I'm going to swatch it as well, and it's a beautiful red. I really enjoy it. If you haven't noticed, I do like, I have a wide range of lip colors that I enjoy. And the next one is another NYX lipstick. This is in Desert Rose, which I will also swatch. Right underneath Candy Apple, right there. It's another soft pink. Now, for the other lipstick, we have Spicy Cinnamon from Revlon. Here's what it looks like. It's more of like a cream, cream finish. Like a little, a very warm based brown with like a hint of red in there. At least that's what I think. But either way, I like it. It's nice. Moving on, we have the Maybelline lipstick in Touch of Spice. This is what it looks like. And here is what it looks like, right there. I know on the camera these two look kind of similar, but for the first one and this one. But the first one is definitely heavily pink, this is more brown. I don't know if there's any confusion with that, but I was just letting you know. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So for makeup and beauty, wait actually, hold on. Last but not least we have perfume or body sprays. We have the Bath and Beauty, right? Yes, Bath and Beauty Love Forever Cherry Blossom and Jasmine Body Mist. I love this. As you can see, it's almost empty. I used it quite a bit throughout 2022. And I have no idea where this perfume came from, but it's called Sweet Pink. I don't know where the cap is either. But I really enjoy it. Very sweet. I have a very bad sense of smell. My sense of smell is very weak, so I can't give you any specific scents but it's sweet i like it it's great for every day i have no issue with it it's nice and it's actually one that isn't from victoria's secrets that i actually really enjoy so there's that but here it is now that is everything for my 2022 favorites well 2022 beauty favorites at least but yes that is everything thank you for watching thank you for listening to my rambling what's it called mildly chaotic somewhat everywhere kind of thing i tried my best to stay very organized but sometimes it just does not help because i'm very forgetful so i'm jumping from one thing to another so i tried my best to stay organized and keep it so it actually makes sense so there is that but thank you for dealing with me thank you for watching have a nice day bye guys